What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, honey. Be back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who have been rocking with your girl from the start. I appreciate you guys all so very much. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across this video and you see something that you do like or hear, join our colony by hitting the subscription button down below. Also, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do premiere content to the channel. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do today, y'all. I just want to get some messages. I don't have no... I don't have an intention behind this reading other than to get messages. So, these could be um, your person's messages to you. This could be the way that you're feeling towards your person. Protect me, spirit, as I channel these messages. Protect my tribe, my colony, as they receive. I only wish to communicate with high vibrational being. Oh, beaches. <laughs> Beings only for the clearest and most accurate of messages. Anyone sending us any evil eye, ill intent, we will give that over to the universe. We allow the divine to transmute that energy for us and send that back down to us in prosperity, abundance, love, and light, and all good things. That we're deserving of in between. Anyone sending us any negative energy. I mean any positive energy. We return that back to the sender tenfold. We bind them in that energy. We wrap them up in that energy. So let's me go ahead. Let's me go ahead. And clear off, clear off our space. Clear the energy off y'all. I had a beautiful beautiful weekend. This weekend we celebrated my grandmother. Uh, you know, just a life celebration, you know. Tomorrow is in promise and she suffers from dementia, y'all, and she's getting worse and worse and worse. So we just wanted to take the time out to acknowledge the matriarch of our family, our queen. And that's something we did and I had a beautiful time. So let's go ahead and let me start with this deck. I don't know why I've been called to this deck. Someone may be a smoker, y'all. Heavy smoker. And this could be smoking. Like, this could be a pipe. I don't know why I'm seeing a pipe. Um, I hope it ain't no crack pipe. Or some, You know what? There may be an addiction. And I'm not even joking. I just heard an addiction. So, someone may... Someone's person or... If it's not your person or you, this could be someone in your surroundings. Um, Someone may be dealing with someone that's currently on... Has an addiction to drugs or... I'm hearing rehab. Or, uh, what is the word? What is the word? Relapse. Relapse. If this is you or someone you love, y'all, please just hold on. Like, you know, I know it may be hard. Hard, you know, but you'll be glad you didn't do it in the morning. This could also be alcohol, liquor. I'm hearing gambling addiction. Someone may have an addiction. Gambling, alcohol, or drugs may be a thing. I don't know why I hear like in, in this person's family, this may be a um this may be something that that takes place. This may be a curse and addiction on someone's family, actually. Someone may have you know, I don't want to say multiple, but a few people. It may be a generational curse that someone is designed to break off their lineage. Right? Give it a message of spirit. Give me the messages. The person on my collective's mind or who has the collective on their mind give me some messages from this person or from the collective what's the energy surrounding the collective what is the energy surrounding my collective what does my a collective need to be made aware of what do we need to know give me the messages here please and thank you it it was time to go our own separate ways Someone's per some drugs. Some someone's person could have been taken away from them by drugs. Some addiction, like addiction, an addiction. In this case, whoever this is gonna resonate for, this person is their addiction is is drugs, alcohol, gambling. It's it's the third party is not another person. Or if if it is, is because this person, the person, is also also has these same kind of addictions. So if this person, your person in question is what a karmic is because this karmic has 
um these also has these additions it says please let's work this out it was time to go our own separate ways so this could have been someone this could be two separate energies i'm hearing so this could be you or your person saying it was time to go our separate ways and the other person wants to work it out but the barrier the blockage here is addictions sorry i never had time for you yeah someone there was some addictions there was some addictions here it says sorry Sorry, my exes caused too much drama. And then what Philip came out was, damn, you caught me red-handed. So someone could have gotten caught with an ex. But I'm hearing it's like these, these people share an addiction. It's not even about the connection that they have with this third party, this karmic. If there is a third party, is a, the addictions. It's not about the love. It's not It's not about the love. It's not that, you know, they're, they're bond. They're trauma bonded by addictions. And this person, and if there is a third party, another person that this your person is dealing with, they also have this. It it runs in their family. They, they trauma bond or from addictions, addictions of of themselves from themselves, their own addictions, or because they both dealt with it in a family. What else? It says I changed my phone number. So someone changed their phone number. Could be you or them. This person could have stolen for, from you. They could have stolen from you to um to feed their habit, whatever their habit is. I you don't I, whatever whoever this is, like I'm seeing a light in this dim. You don't see this person in a in a good light. You don't see this person in a good light. I'm hearing what what ha what happened to you? Look, you see, I can't shake you off my mind, and you're all that matters to me. So if there is a third party, another person, y'all, is they're connected to this person through addictions. This is really a karmic connection. They're with a karmic partner, but this karmic partner is to teach them karmic lessons. They're supposed to teach each, like, they're not learning, though. It's like they're sinking deeper and deeper and deeper into the addiction. And maybe that is the, maybe that is the lesson in itself. Because, you know... Like, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom. God, the universe, the divine will allow you to hit rock bottom. Only for you to discover that they are the, the rock at the bottom. This 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 purpose for this person in this karmic connection. And look, look y'all, karmic, this third party. So, this could be person, place, or thing. So, this could be the, the addictions. This could be the third party plus the addictions. Or this could just be the, the karmic partner. Or it could be a combination, but the purpose of this car, this third party, whether it be person, place, or thing, is for this person to discover their light. It th this person needs to discover God. They're trying to make this person lose it all. Like, you know, I, me personally, at rock bottom is where spirituality found me. I didn't find spirituality; it found me. But I had to hit rock bottom. I was at my lowest point. When I when I saw my own light, when I discovered my own light, they're trying to get this person to break. This person is 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 strong though. They are really strong. Like this person is not. They're the type of person like they don't. They feel like they have it all under control, and they may. So um, this person, even if they are drugs or alcoholic or something of that of that magnitude. Um, and I don't want to call them an alcoholic. I just want to say the addictions, whatever their addiction is, this person functions well in it. It's like. They function well in that. They're a functioning alcoholic if they are. They're a functioning addict if that's what they are. They are functioning like you know they they'll if their addiction is gambling they'll gamble all the money away but the bills are paid first. Anything extra this person they you know what I'm saying like especially if they have kids and I was out here like stole from you. Thank you for the confirmation spirit. Like if this person ever ever stole from you. They might have stole from you. And I feel like if this person stole from you, this is how you discover the addiction. This is how you discover what was wrong with them. Because they are functioning. You would never tell from this person's day-to-day -day life. This is real specific. They, they're fun they function in it. Look, money is a major factor under the deck. And I, I hardly use this deck, y'all. And this is not... And then under that, it says, you and I will make it through. So that's why I'm like... Mm -mm. Sorry I kept lying to you. And you and I can make it through. And under that is you You can be so aggressive. Calm down. But it's almost like this person hates when you... When, and this is why they stay away. Or like try to avoid or not talk to you. Because this is the type of person like they don't want to... They don't want to hear it y'all. And like I don't think... Unless you've grown and really done some self-reflection and evaluation um, through your life. Then you know people are not... 
they're not so open to receiving the truth or hearing what they've done wrong or what they could do better. Like, it's, they don't want to hear it, but this person knows that they're wrong. And it's like, they don't want to hear it because they're not ready to make changes. So in all honesty, it's, I hear like you're just wasting your, wasting your bread. They would never tell you that. But it's like they can't hear it. They can't hear it. They can hear it, but they're not listening to you because this person is not ready to receive it. So it's almost like it's going through one ear and out the other. They're hearing, but they're not receiving you. And they hear what, what you're saying. They know you're right. This it's not that they don't they don't they think you're wrong or they're right. They know that you're right. But this person is they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. You know, like situations. Everybody know when they have enough. This could be relationships. This person is going to know that when they have enough of the addiction. Or, you know, the universe, God can send an entire moment on this person and they had no choice but to give it up. But this person knows that they're not. This is not something that they're, that they're ready to. To, um, to let go of. They can't love you properly. They can't love you properly. And the addiction is because the addiction is their first love. That's their first, first love. Like the bottle. The bottle is their first love. The pipe or whatever. You know, like the gambling. The, the, the slot machines or. And I'm hearing high stakes. Like high roller. This person is a big bidder if it's gambling. They play big numbers. This person loses big. They lose big, big. This is the type like gamble the Christmas money big. You don't know where the money is going. Like the money that's being saved is is coming up. This is what this person is using for their addictions, and this may be how you how like like I'm saying how you found out. You and this person could have been saving for something. I'm hearing a home, a house, or a car, or something of that sort, some sort of purchase, or there's something that you and this person was combining assets together so that you could build on something else. And this is how you discovered it. It's like this person. Some came on missing. They literally could have stole money. Money for their addictions. Like for, you know, like money, like even I to say to go buy their, their alcohol or to go buy their DRUG of choice or to go out gambling. This is how you discover the addiction. Because it, it's not noticeable. This person doesn't wear their addiction. They do not wear their addiction at all. They don't wear it. They don't wear it. Even if we can't work things out, let's remain friends. And that's not like this person... They know you're a good being. They know you're a good person. It's not. It has. This has nothing to do with you. And you know, as cliche as it sounds, this is one of those. It's not me. It's you type of situations. And this could be a lover, y'all. This could be a family member. This could be someone's mom, someone's dad. There was some some thievery here. Even if it was a, a, a taking a small amount, just see if it was money. It was a small amount. It could have been something very small. But it's something that you noticed, and you noticed it. Because you were supposed to. That was spirit letting you know of what was going on. Even if it was something small. Something Teton is like, you know, just say for instance, you keep spare money in a drawer. You know, like people tend to have like figurines and stuff on top. And this is what I'm seeing. This is the image that I'm getting. Like figurine or like some type kind of little. Let me show y'all. Something like this. Like on a dresser or something like with a little top. And when you went towards it, it had been moved. So it normally goes here. But when you got to it, like it was just a smidget over. And I don't know, y'all. Maybe that's just me being observant. But my, if, if my shit go right here and it's been moved just slightly, I know that that's not where I put that. You know what I'm saying? I know how I place my things. It was one of those instances. That's how you notice. It was something very small. This is a very specific message. This person is a high roller. Like high roller. They bet big. High roller. And they don't wear it. Like this person don't wear that addiction. This would be something that they would hide. Like you would never know. Because this, this this person functions through it. They function through it. They function through their addiction. They function through their darkness. It's almost like they tailor their darkness to them. It's an extension of them. They know it's an extension of them. But to the average eye, you would never think... Even the people closest to this person. So this may be like their family may not know this. Or whoever's in question. Like, you know, this may, if it's someone in your family, like the family may not know, but you might know. It was because somebody needs to know. 
Libra could be significant. Don't have to be. This could be something that was found out in Libra season. What is Libra season? September, October. But it, it was to balance. It's like... It's like if you couldn't figure it out. I'm seeing like a balance in this case, you know, like two of pentacles. It's like juggling something. It was like you were juggling the idea of, okay, this seems okay, but what's hidden underneath? You see the blinders on? Like this person, that they, they, they blind. They could blind the average bear. They could be also a good liar. Like gift of gab, saving face. Or even like not a good liar or, you know, just one of many words. Like this person is a could be a, a silent. I heard a silent assassin. Mm -hmm. Some, it's a, there's a silent killer. Whatever this person is dealing with or whatever this addiction is, look, it's sabotaging them. It's sabotaging them. It's sabotaging them. I'm not even getting in a third party energy like an outside person. I'm getting that their, this, uh, their addiction here is a substance. A substance. The addiction here is a substance, y'all. And this person is meant to be an empath. And maybe you're the empath and this is how you know. It's almost like a gut feeling. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to say like there was a balance. Like, you juggled with the idea. Like, everything seems okay. But then, you know, on the underneath, what's hidden underneath is your gut. Something about in your gut. Like, your gut feeling. Your gut instinct told you that something is not right here. And this is how you discovered it. And once you started, like, you know, like your antennas went up. That's when Spirit sent you the message because you had got it. They had been trying to send you the message to look for something. And then once once you knew that you were supposed to be, something was not right there, you couldn't quite put your finger on it, they literally put your finger on it. You, They could have literally put your finger on it. Like it could have been a little figurine that you had to move back in a certain spot. Like something could have been stolen. This is specific. Look, look. Look, Capricorn, y'all. What is a Capricorn? There's the devil. That's addiction energy. I cannot make this up. And look, what's under that? Secret love. And that's why I'm like, secret love. But in this case, I don't feel like it's a third party. In this case, I feel like it's something that they're clinging on to. And they're clinging on to, this could be a wound from family. It could be a family wound. Clinging a wound, clinging and wound. This could to me is generational curse. That's a curse that's been clinging to your lineage for a while. The see their secret love is they could have an addiction. It could be gambling. It could be drugs. It could be drinking. This person has an addiction. This person has an addiction. This person has an addiction. Thank you for the confirmation, spirit. Right under that is lover, and that's something like this could have been. And y'all, oh lord, this is really specific. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. And if there like I said, if there is a lover, they're they're trauma bonded. They're trauma bonded. They share the same kind of childhood. You know what I heard? These they, they could have been born crack babies. I, I'm not like this is real specific. I hope you two don't block or ban this. Like this person could have been born addicted to substances. But this is something that had been going on on a is this is a lineage thing. This is a generational curse. The lin the People that came before them, family members came before them also. Or like I said, it's just this person and this lover if they're connected to someone. Their secret love is addiction. Is this addiction? They could have an addiction to y'all. Look, no. Cutting. Y'all know cutting. 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 They could have an addiction to cutting. Or this could be you. If this is you. If this is your person. Send your person love and light. Send yourself love and light. Y'all, figure it out. Like, try. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But listen, you could qu you could quit or you could keep going. They both hurt. Someone may have a sem the semicolon tattoo. Y'all know what that means. If you have it, you know what it means. If you have that, that tattoo, you know exactly what that means. 19, 19 on a time, or 19 reduces to 10. 10 is a number of what? Endings. That's someone who tried to end themselves. They tried to, someone tried to end themselves. And I don't know if this was recent or in someone's lifetime, but this is definitely one of those cases. This is real specific. This is real specific. Hmm. 
I would I would sure love to see. So you see the secret love. I put it down and came out and it, I put it down in reverse. This card right here that I'm about to pick up, y'all. I want y'all to see how I'm picking it up in reverse. The lover. So that's why I'm like, even if there's a another party, another person, it's not about the love. It's about the addiction that they share. They cling on to the, each other for the addiction. Or if this is a common partner, they may cling on to this person because this person is an enabler. They enable. Or oh, hell, if it's not an addiction like that, they may be addicted to this person. This person themselves may be an addiction. And then that's that's some, you know, it, to me, this in reverse, paired with this, this could be spell work to get somebody to cling to them, to hold on to them, to stay there, to block their intuition. Because impact in reverse is like your gut is telling you you need to do something, you need to move away from something, but everything wants you to cling to it. The devil is an addiction clinging to an addiction so like i said this could be a third party that has the shares the same addictions as them this could be a trauma bond or there could be some sort of spell work because like i'm like secret love and lover and they both in reverse again with wounded trauma bond or they could it could be just because there's history a familiarity y'all but it's not about love whether it be they, they shared the same upbringing or they shared the bond or they could have been introduced to drugs or that one person is enabling the other person you know to keep them from moving because night in reverse that it, it don't that's not moving nights move nights move this is an unbalance it's unbalanced wherever it is something is going on there so my mm, look shadow queen i was about to say somebody tip tap dancing around your person there's a shadow queen energy This could have been someone that they connected with because of some sort of addiction. And it's eating, it's, I hear killing them softly. Even if you can't see it, like this person may wear it well, but there's something about you, you knowing, like you being able to see it. Look for, I'm hearing the dark eyes. This person may have dark eyes, rings around their eyes. There's something eating, eating this person from the inside out. Like I said, this could be the person. This could, could be a karmic person, partner if there's one. This could be the karmic partner and the addictions that they're both addiction to, addicted to. Or this could be just the addiction themselves if you know that there's no third party. But there's definitely addiction here. There is definitely, definitely addictions here. I want to see what, I want to kind of want to see. I kind of want to see what those are. I'm hearing, are you afraid of the dark? That's a, that's a television show that was on Nick at Night years, years, years ago. That may resonate with someone. Let me see. Let me see what addictions lie beneath. Let's, what's going on here? I'm going to pull a few cards from here and I'm going to end this reading, y'all, because this one is real specific. I hope whoever needed to hear this message, they get they get this message. This could be confirmation. I'm hearing someone say, I knew it. 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 I'm hearing someone say that. I knew it. I'm also seeing someone crying. Like, please don't let it be true. Acceptance. Yeah, someone had a hard, has a hard time accepting this. I'm telling y'all. This may be your addiction. I mean, this may be, you know, a, a, an obstacle. Like, I'm, you know, I just said, please don't let this be true. Like, yeah. Someone is definitely having a hard time accepting that this is what this, what this is. This person may have, and that sounds like this person may have a hard time accepting that this is a truth. That they do have an addiction. They won't re refer to it as an addiction. They're just like, this is just something I enjoy doing, but it's an actual fucking addiction. They don't want to put a title on it. They don't want to call a spade a spade. This person, somebody is definitely a gambler, y'all. This person is definitely, someone is a gambler. Somebody is a gambler. Somebody have a gambling addiction, drugs. It could be addiction to alcohol. It could be porn. It could be any kind of addictions. Y'all know what an addiction is, but specifically cards. I heard high roller, call a speed of speed. What else? What else? Is, what is this? It says renewing adventure, a return of passions and play. Community is healing, laughter, travel, and new things can respark your love life. Someone may also not want to accept the fact that they need to let this go. 
someone cannot be able to let you go because it says uh, this you're all that matters to me i can't shake you off my mind if we can't work this out could we at least just be friends Someone may also be having a hard time accepting the fact that they have lost you because of these addictions. I'm here and I can't take it anymore. I'm seeing a courthouse. Someone someone could have really went to court or like press charges. Like police could have been involved in this in this in this case. Especially if you know it's like the drug thing, like somebody stealing out of your house, like you you know, your property, your TVs, things like that coming up missing. And we see it on TV and movies and we think it's a little jokey joke. But it's not funny when that shit really hit home. Because that's dear, really dear, real life. You know, what we see in movies, they stem from something. That's somebody's stories that they're reenacting. Maybe I'm not a, a you know, well, that, that is like, say, um, Jack and Jill's story. Them, that's those specifically. But somebody's been through those exact things. Like, that's a, a reenactment. These are real life things. Movies are based on real life things. So it's not just, you know, uh, general. You, you you got that storyline from somewhere. And nine times out of ten, it was a real life situation that you, that you had, that they were privy to, the writer, producers or whatever, or something someone close to them went through, like in their family. Mm -hmm. Y'all. The divine masculine. Your person has addictions. Listen, this divine masculine, Shadow King. I seen that card in this deck. The Shadow Queen came out, but Shadow Queen, like I'm saying, like Shadow Queen, y'all know energy is fluid. So that could be a man or a woman. Whoever this is resonating for, whoever your person is, yeah, they're definitely in shadow energy. And I, it didn't come out, but Shadow Shadow Queen, I saw it under the on the under the deck. It peeked his head out. It, it peeked his head out. Someone may definitely be a rebel or some sort of smoker. Someone enables someone. Someone may be addicted to you, collective. If this is not... <laughs> if this is not addiction, addiction, they are addicted to you. This person could be wounded as well. And this is what makes them clean to to their to their south node i heard south node specifically and this they could be like this person this could be a just a matter of this person staying in situations because of what they could get out of them versus love like this may be someone who they never they don't do relationships based on love like it, it's more transactional it's more of a transactional thing but when it comes to you like i want to see how this person feels about my collective because now some, this person may be addicted to you, collective. Mm -hmm. This person may be addicted to you, but that's not like, even okay, and if they with someone else, just let's go with that scenario, because now I'm seeing that as well. Um, Neither one of them love each other. It's trauma with wounded. This is what binds these two. It's a trauma bond. If there's a karmic partner, there's a, it's a trauma bond. It's a trauma bond. There's no passion there. This is like nine of wands, but it's in reverse. It's, it's lacking. But again, then again, it's not moving. Someone may not be trusting their intuition, their gut feeling, and moving along from this. Like, I changed my number. Someone could have changed a number, got their number changed, or this could have been you. This could have been someone that you changed your number on or they changed their number on you. I want to know. I want to know what these person, what, what this person's feelings are towards my collective. So let's use this his situation's deck. Let's see what their feelings are about my collective and about their situation. It says you fulfill me on an emotional and physical level. You are easy to talk to. Let's see. How does this person feel about the collective? How does this person feel about the collective? I can't pick it up. I can't pick the card up. Let's see. It says, people look up to me and I don't want to let them down. That's what I'm like. This person is functioning. They function. This person functions in chaos. In internal chaos, they're comfortable in that. And you know, a lot of times we'll say like, well, why don't you just leave? Sometimes chaos is what a person is familiar with. They don't know how to leave. That's all they know. So that's why when we get into, you know, when you come across... You know, just say you've had a lifetime of horrible relationships. 
people, a lot of people don't talk about how hard the healthy relationship is after the the fucked up relationship ones. That's a hard one too. The healthy one after the rough ones when you have to start unlearning and relearning. Like, yeah, that's where self-sabotage comes in. It says people look up to me and I don't want to let them down. This person, this person function. It's almost like if it don't, if it don't make pe other people happy or like another person happy, they'll do it. Even if this person is not happy, it's to their own detriment. Their addiction could be people fucking pleasing. 555 on a time, a tower at tower moment. Look what I talked about. Hitting, hitting rock bottom to discover the rock at the bottom. The tower moment. I said you either do it or spirit will come in and they're going to take it from you. This person has a tower moment approaching. They do. The truth is I'm scared to tell you my truth. They're not following their instinct. This person's intuition is blocked by these addictions. By these addictions. I look, I don't want to lose myself in this relationship. And I this is what I'm saying, lose themselves. In this case, lose themselves means the the unevolved version of themselves, like the lower vibrational self. This is all that they know. They feel like losing who they are. Or who they know themselves to be. They don't know what their their future self will be. So there's a fear of letting go of this. So this is why they cling to these addictions. Whatever these addictions are. This person's places are things. Or, or, or hell, even family. These karmic things. I must call them third party karmics. Even though they know. They know. They're aware. But they can't. Wow. Okay. Give me something else. It says, I smile when I remember how you wanted nothing to do with me when we first met. So, yeah, this could have been someone that I'm hearing fight or flight. And then I heard someone say, I could have, I should have went with my first mind. You may be feeling like you, you should have, you shouldn't have got involved with this person. I'm hearing, I know you feel that way. This person may have told you that before. I don't know if I believe in soulmates or twin flames, but if I do, you are my twin flame. This person may be shy. I can't figure out why you trigger me so much. And I feel like you trigger this person because you are an empath. <laughs> you, my dear collective, are an empath. But they are too. But there's this block. So you trigger this person because what they have with you, you they're drawn to what you have within because they have it within them too. And this is what the universe wants them to discover. So for a lot of you, you were supposed to be this person's catalyst. You were supposed to send this person into their spiritual awakening. You know, after coming in contact with certain people that the universe, God, the divine places on your path. You know, if you're a light worker or you're, if you're a chosen, you trigger people into their spiritual awakenings. After you, is like their whole, their whole Things start falling apart. Tower, 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 tower. Everything about them changes, you know? Sometimes, you know, I did not tell people all the time, like, I'm not, this is not just no ordinary meeting. God don't just send me to people. He don't just send, just send, just any old body to me. It's because he's trying to work either in my life or in theirs or in both. It does something for both of us. So it's no longer like, why is this happening for to me? Is what is this here to teach me? That's so why everyone that comes into my life is what is the purpose? What is your purpose? I always ask spirit. I always ask spirit. And if it's, you know, if it's to teach me a lesson, hey, baby, make this short and sweet. Let's not prolong this. I ask off the dump. Because don't waste my time. Anyway, this ain't about me. What else? Give me one more. How does this person feel about my collective? This person, they trigger you. You trigger them. They trigger you for some of them. They feel like you're either their soulmate or twin flame. This person remembers you. The truth is they're scared to tell you their truth. But for a lot of you, this person feels like you already know. And that's not like a confirmation. This may be a confirmation. They feel like anything you tell them would be, if they tell you would be a confirmation. Because you know shit. I hear you be knowing shit. Okay. It says you don't know how many times I've wanted to reach out to you. And it's like they do, but you know, I'm and I'm seeing like a gavel, like bang, like no, like no. Every time they try to do it, like it's something that blocks them. They either get a call, somebody walk in, something happens. Like I'm hearing like, you know, I'm hearing the TV turn on. I'm seeing somebody sitting in the bed and, you know, they, they got their phone in their hand and all of a sudden the TV comes on. And it, it's like a distraction. Like, no, because it's, it's almost like, leave my, my my baby alone. It's something like, don't disturb the peace. 
don't deserve you're being protected from this person it says sometimes at night i think about the times we spent together and this is what i'm saying this is when they may reach out you know you're sitting up in a bed at night you got your feet crossed rubbing your feet together scrolling on your phone yeah this is it at night this person thinks about you they do they do they do and i don't care if there's a karmic partner if there's a person they could be with a person that person could be right there in the bed with them and this person is thinking about you they still have pictures videos of you on their phone they still have your text messages this person still have your number stored in your old number if it's you that's changing number, this person still have your number they have a number they have a number i don't know which number they have it could be your old or your new if you've given it to them but they have the number they still have the number I'm, I'm slowly making my way back to you. They're trying. That's why I'm like, every time they, they try, they make an attempt, it's bl they block, block. Because you know what? This person, they know, that's what I say. They know that they have these addictions. They know that they have toxicities. They know that they have addictions. Whether it be mind frame, whether it be person, place, or thing, whether it be gambling, liquor, you know, whatever their addictions are, they know. And this is why they, they're, they're blocked from coming towards you. Like, they, they can't. Listen. They can't move towards you. Night in, night in reverse. That's a night that don't move. This is why they can't move towards you. Because they have all these addictions and they know. They have some things that they need to let go of that they're not ready to let go of. They know. And Spirit says, touch not my anointing. Do my profit no harm. They can't touch you. They can't touch you. Hmm. Not even with a 10 foot pole. Okay. It says, I need you in my life. Yeah, they feel like they need you. But right, you. something has to give. Something has to give. You have a two-car garage. You can't go and buy two more cars. Where are you going to park them at? You got to get rid of something. And that's just, that could have been like a wonky example. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you got to make room for, you got to make room for something. You can't have a new one if you want to let go, if you don't want to let go of the old one. You can't have a new life or a, a new beginning or a new start, a new relationship with this person. If you have, still have old remnants of you know past versions in in that place it just don't work something got to go what else they feel like they need you in their life they're slowly making their way back towards you what else she's not you it just isn't enough for me what did i say what did i say if there's another lover he or she y'all whether whatever you whatever your preference is secret love lover is in reverse the love that this person has is not for this person over here. It's not for their lover. What's keeping them together is trauma bond. You know what? They may not, They both may have somebody else that they're, they're in love with. And they be trying to, you know, like, y'all know. Y'all know how they go. Like trying to make some shit work. Like to show I'm, yeah. But they wounded. They trauma bonded. They're, trauma, they're bonded by trauma. So this could be trauma from past experiences, past relationships, or like I said, from addictions. These people got some shit. Oh my God. I don't want to touch that. And what else? It says, she's just not you. It just isn't enough for me. The first card out was, you fulfill them on emotion on an emotional level. Where is that card? Did I put it back in? Yeah. It says, you fulfill me on an emotional and physical level. She's not you. It just isn't enough for me. He or she is not you. It just isn't enough for me. Whew. I hope this resonated from one of you, some of you, all of you. Until next time, love and night.